chances are most of you have at least one smartphone, probably based on Android. In fact, around 80% of the 1 billion smartphones shipped last year were supported by Android. Android accompanies us everywhere, everyone. It's actually so intimate to us. And because of that, it receives much more of our secrets and private data. Android is also a computing platform, and every computing platform has its own weaknesses. If exploited, can, com can compromise our privacy. Data can be leaked, and even money can be stolen. This is a long but quite old story. So what's new? The new is the small, innocent-looking components, sensory chips built right onto the body of the device. Those so-called sensors are capable of sensing the environment, the motion of the user, and the position of the device. Examples are accelerometers, gyroscopes, camera, phone, magnetometer, barometer, you name it, and the rest is coming forth. So the new question actually is, can those sensors impose new privacy threats, unseen before, and none before to researchers? The short answer is yes. And the long answer is the new line of research started in 2011, and in which I have investigated more in my PhD. Basically, my mission is to explore the new territory of sensors-based security threats on Android. By the way, this is the dissertation title of my own. To appreciate this new trend of threats, please imagine holding your device in one hand, typing your password, for example, using the other hand. Actually, you are making sure nobody is watching, and Android is making sure no malware is sniffing your password. But still, please notice that your taps on the body of the phone cause tiny vibrations. Very tiny, but sensible to sensors. So if there is an application that is listening to this sensor, and believe me, there is often some application that does, then your password could be revealed using just simple machine learning techniques. This is a scary scenario, but it's real. In terms of finding, my research did prove fruitful. Up to this point, I have revealed at least three innovative new attacks, so to speak, on Android. They involve so much technical details, including camera, eye tracking, image processing, signal processing, fingerprinting the device using linear programming, etc. But there is always one common theme. I exploit sensors to break security. Somebody else can do that also. So back to sensors, I think by now, they are not that innocent anymore. Next time you type your password, you feel so safe. Please think again. Thank you.